What's going on guys? Welcome to the video. Today I'm gonna give you five quick hacks you can use when you're on a date with a girl or just hanging out with a girl to rapidly build attraction and get her turned on. So if you're ready for that, let's get started. All right, man, number one is to utilize games. If you wanna set yourself apart from all the average guys out there, it is very useful to have a few conversational games in your back pocket that you can pull out when the conversation dies down. One game I really like is called Two Truths and a Lie, and you basically just ask the girl, tell me three things about yourself, two of them true, one of them untrue, and then it's your job to guess which is the lie. And then after that, you switch roles, you tell her three things about you, and she has to guess which one is the lie. And obviously, this is a fun way to learn more about each other, plus it's an easy way for you to reveal unique things about yourself without coming across as bragging. Now, another game I really like is called 20 Questions, and basically you guys alternate asking each other questions, so you ask 10 questions each, and the idea is that at first they're very general, boring questions and at the end they get more exciting and juicy so at the end you might ask her what's the most exciting place you've ever had sex or what's something illegal you've done that you've never told anyone about and obviously this is a quick and easy way to turn up the heat and make things a lot more intimate it's not my fault you know i had to walk away it's been five years and now one of us has changed we say All right, man, number two is comfort over style. So obviously it's important to look good and be stylish when you're on a date or you're hanging out with a girl, but you never ever want to sacrifice your comfort. And that's because comfort and self-confidence are tied together. If you're not comfortable, it's going to be hard to feel confident. This is why I recommend wearing a simple outfit kind of like this. Maybe some cool ripped jeans, a fitted t-shirt, and a jacket on top. But honestly, the most important part of your outfit is your underwear. And if you're like most guys and you're wearing some raggedy old boxers, this is gonna fuck you over because you're gonna be constantly having to reach down and adjust yourself or kind of move yourself on the seat to get comfortable. And that is gonna make you look nervous to the girl. Plus, it's gonna subconsciously distract you and kill your confidence. And that's why my favorite underwear comes from this company called Sheath. Not only is this stuff made from a high quality modal fabric that is moisture wicking, so it's gonna keep you dry, it also has a very special feature, and that is on the inside of the underwear, there's actually a separate compartment for your dick and your balls. And I know that sounds funny, so check this out. With a normal pair of underwear, this is your leg, and this is your package. Throughout the day, they're constantly rubbing against each other and creating friction, which creates heat, which creates sweat. And not only is that super uncomfortable, it also makes you smell bad. Sheath underwear is so amazing because this little compartment prevents that friction, which is gonna prevent all of those problems. And because Sheath is the sponsor of today's video, you can use my coupon code to get a big discount on your next order. Just click that first link in the description. Alright guys, number three is to calibrate yourself. You always need to make sure that you adjust the words that you're saying and how you're saying them to the specific environment that you're in. So for example, when I set up a date, I like to meet girls at a bar for drinks and generally that bar is gonna have kind of loud music and other people in the environment. It's a high energy environment and for that reason, you need to bring high energy as well. You need to be talking to her with excitement. If you're sitting back like this, and you're talking to her like this, with no energy, it's gonna come off as awkward. But let's say after that we move to a more laid back lounge and we're sitting next to each other on a sofa, the music's not as loud. Now you don't wanna have all that energy. You wanna sort of relax a little bit, get closer to her, touch her more, make stronger eye contact. Because again, that's what this environment is going to allow you to do. If you still sit there talking at it really loud like this, it's gonna come off as awkward and it's not gonna take advantage of this more intimate environment. And guys, if you always do this and you always use the environment to your advantage, you're always gonna come off as a charming, charismatic guy. Me, myself, and I. I 
just got a workout in with Julia. Hey guys. Let's talk about number four, and that is to master silence. I know that a common fear guys have is awkward silences and running out of things to say. And to be honest, this is something that you want to avoid at the beginning of a conversation or the beginning of a date because at this point the energy is high and if you just shut down it's gonna be a little bit awkward so in that case I would recommend you use like one of those fun games that I shared with you at the beginning of this video but later on in the conversation or later on in the date silences are actually something you can use to your advantage let's say you're in one of those low energy environments and you guys are sitting next to each other on a couch and there's a silence Rather than nervously trying to think of something to say, here's what I recommend you do. S keep a little smirk on your face, hold eye contact with the girl, and then just wait for her to fill the silence. Yeah guys, if this is done properly, the guy will come off as really confident and it puts all the pressure on the girl to think of something to say. Yeah, it like really puts you in the power position of the conversation and that is just invaluable. So as you guys know, we are obsessed with poke, which is basically like sushi in a bowl. And they just opened a new place downtown Austin near us. So we could not be more excited to try this out. So mine is a salmon bowl with avocado. And as you can see, I put a shit ton of sauce on top, hot sauce. I'm gonna give this a solid eight out of 10. Probably top three poke places I've been to, but our regular, <coughs> was spicy. Yeah. I'd say a 7 out of 10, and our other one's probably a 9 out of 10. My mouth is still on fire, but that's alright. The fifth and final point is always forward. The same way girls are attracted to guys who are pushing forward in their lives and their careers, it's going to be to your advantage to always be pushing your dates forward as well. So for example, let's say you meet up with a girl to get drinks at a bar. Do not get a second round. As soon as you guys finish that first drink, ask her, do you want to go to this other bar and get a drink there? Or do you want to come back to my place and have a bottle of wine? <laughs> or maybe it's, it's a glass of wine. You get the point, bro. You want to do this on all of your dates. Never stay in a place long enough that it's going to start to feel boring and stagnant because this is going to make sure your dates are always fun and exciting. And then she's going to start to associate this excitement with you as a person. And she's going to think you're just way cooler of a guy than all the other average dudes she's chilling with. Anyway, that's gonna wrap this video up. But really quick, if you're someone who struggles to be confident around girls and you're not good at getting dates with girls, then you're gonna wanna check out my free online confidence course. Because in this course, I show you a series of small challenges I gave myself to rapidly expand my comfort zone so that now doing things like approaching girls and asking them out, it doesn't even phase me a little bit. To get access to the course now, just click the I in the top right corner or the link in the description. That is the end of this video. I'll put the five points on the screen in case you forgot them. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, give it a thumbs up, click subscribe if you have not subscribed yet, and I will talk to you in the next video. Stay beastly!